Today I want to show y'all something really cool. I really like it. It's a handy little compact package, and this contains a powerful little rifle. We'll get it out of here. Show you what we got. This uh, case here for it is optional. Skinner Sykes makes this case. It's a dandy little case. I've used them before. And what we got in here is a Taylor's Alaskan 45 Colt takedown rifle. Takes down quickly and easily into two pieces. Put it back together. Just start it there at a 90 degree. Give it a turn. And then tighten this mag tube. Tighten this thing back down, and that gets you secured in there. Where you got a rigid little rifle. It's a good short, handy lever action rifle, about 34 inches long, 16 inch barrel on it. It's an octagon, tapered octagon barrel. Got a really good set of sights on here. They uh, uh, from the factory they put these Skinner sights on, and that's one of the best little. Uh, rear uh, peep sight you can get or aperture sight you got different size apertures you can thread into this hole right here available from Skinner what I like to do is take the aperture pull them out and have a ghost ring on the back got a fiber optic front anyway the mag tube this one's in 45 Colt it's also available in 357 Magnum and 44 Magnum in 45 Colt you can load some really powerful things up here and get some Magnum class uh, 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 ammo from Buffalo Bar, Corbon, Double Tap Places like that, and this little gun can handle it. Being a 92 style action, uh, Winchester 92, it's styled after. This is made by Chiapa in Italy, but it's a really strong, well finished, reliable little gun. Um, the 45 Colt in here comes out and makes a, a whole lot of power out of this little compact package. A lot more than you can get out of a handgun, out of a revolver with its uh, uh, barrel cylinder gap. This closed breech and longer barrel gives you a lot more velocity with uh, any given load out of this little carbine. Got this larger loop lever, so if you've got a, uh, on a pair of gloves or whatever, which is called the Alaskan, and uh, in Alaska, about 11 and a half months out of the year, you probably need gloves to keep your fingers from freezing off. Anyway, they did this action right. One thing I, I love about it, it don't have a rebounding hammer, and it don't have a little safety here on the bolt. It's just like John Brown and the God intended it to be, the action. If it works really slick like this, if you got a rebound and hammer, it's not going to be as slick. This one works really well, got about a four and a quarter to four and a half pound trigger pull. Loads through the side here, the loading gate. Holds eight rounds in the tube, so it gives you nine round capacity in this handy little uh, weapon. Got a good durable uh, silver finish on it, a hard finish. And this is a wood stock with a rubber over mold on it. So it's uh, it gives you the warmth, the feeling of wood, but that rubber gives you a good grip. It's a thin coat and a rubber on it, which gives you a good grip where you can handle it. It's not going to slip in your hand when your hands are wet or it's, you're out in the rain or bad weather or whatever. It's got a good butt pad on it, which takes the recoil out of it. Not a lot of recoil on standard 45 coat logs, but um, you get into heavy stuff, it can tap your shoulder a little bit, and it's a little lightweight, six and a half pound gun. But it's real easy to handle. Like I said, it's short, overall length. Um, easy to carry easy to take apart and stow in this optional case if you want to do it that way we're going to shoot it a little bit and show you how it handles oh, we've got some good uh, good velocity on some of these logs we've fired and uh, especially in the, some buffalo bore ammo if you like to use standard pressure stuff now you're not limited to cowboy action logs you know a lot of people on the market they think if they've got a 45 colt it has to shoot the weak little cowboy action log that's not true even if you've got a a standard revolver, not one of the heavy duty revolvers, you can use standard pressure stuff in it, and a 45 Colt ain't nothing to sneeze at. Pretty good little cartridge. But when you get into the plus P class of 45 Colt, you really got some bone crushing power in there and something you can easily carry if you're on horseback, on a backpack, just a takedown, throw it in your backpack, not too much extra weight to carry if you're out in the wilderness, and it's uh, uh, handy for people to have. Uh, if you're up where uh, dangerous game is or dangerous animals that might bother you when you're out fishing or camping or whatever, this is good to have. Also real good for social work. You know, a lever action rifle worked really well for, for many years. Uh, you don't have to have AR-15. If you want an AR-15, that's great. They're, they're good rifles. They work really well. But you got nine rounds in here. And with a lever action, you get a little break in action. You can, you can always top off the magazine, uh, put more in, or you don't have to take the... the gun out of the fight to top it off and put more ammo in it. And a 45 Colt, this shorter package, you've got a lot of power, 
in a dandy little rifle. We'll shoot some different logs and I'll show you how easy this is to handle. I've got some Remington 225 grain jacket and hollow point in here now. They're real good logs for uh, social work, for defense, for deer hunting, things like that. It's got all the power you need for it. We'll work our way up to uh, some heavier loads after this. Now we moved up, got a little more power in here. Got some Corbon 265 grain bonded hollow points. These are good. You get into heavier game, like some heavy hogs, uh, bear, things like that. These are handling black bear particularly, elk, um, that kind of thing. Moves up in power a whole lot. This is plus P class stuff. Um, while I'm thinking about that, you know, there's some real heavy loads on the market. Some excellent ones like uh, the Buffalo Boar makes. The, they got a 300 grain flat point, which is just a smasher. Works really well. Now they've got a long nose, um, LBT style, a 325 grain. It's a little too long to work through this hatching. So when you get up in the heavier loads, you got to make sure that the overall cartridge length will work through a 92 action. But uh, they're uh, 300 grain class and down. They all work really good. And like I said, this is some... Uh, Corbon 265 hollow point right here. You can see it's got a little more recoil to it, but it's still easy on the shoulder. Little gun handles it well, and it puts out a lot of a lot of power in a, in a gun that's really easy to shoot and don't beat you up. This load right here, it's a it's a hollow point case style bullet. It's a semi wide cutter gas check from Buffalo Bore. It's got a real wide hollow point in this uh. Uh, medium alloy uh, lead and it's the uh, buffalo war calls it the deer grenade it is in the plus p class so don't go sticking this in a in a lightweight revolver it's not made to handle it or anything these are made for freedom arms ruger revolvers bfrs things like that but the 92 action can handle them just fine and we're going to demonstrate the recoil in this this uh this uh, bullet really opens up well on light game uh such as white tailed deer What I'm going to shoot here is some Buffalo Boar 260 grain uh, jacket hollow point. It really shoots out of this rifle at high speed. Gives a lot of power, but the bullet holds together well. Uh, as opposed to like the uh, 260 deer grenade, it's made to open up quicker on light to medium game. This uh, bullet, this jacket hollow point, is made to hold together for deeper penetration on heavy hogs, bear, things like that that, uh, that might take a little more killing. One thing I want you to be aware of on a lever gun like this, a lot of people don't do it, but uh, they try to ease a, a lever gun. You need to work a lever gun like you mean it. Just work it hard, both directions. It's made to take that. That's the way it's made to cycle. If you start if you start babying one, that's when you're going to get a hang up on feeding and things. You just work a lever gun uh, like it's meant to be worked. Get, uh, get that one out of there quick and get your other in the chamber so you can go to work with it. This little jewel of rifle has worked flawlessly. We showed you how to handle the recoil really well. I want to show you some of the 300 grain uh, Buffalo Bore jacket and flat nose, but I used all of them up during my accuracy and velocity testing, but we'll have the uh, ballistic chart uh, in the video so you can see. Uh, MSRP as of the day of uh, that we're making this video is uh, $1,324 US. Which seems a little high for a little carbine, but for what you're getting, it's not. Because you're getting you're getting a good Skinner sight, you're getting a takedown, you're getting a good quality made rifle that don't have all the crap like a rebound and hammer, extra safeties on it. And compared to uh, anything comparable on the market, it's a bargain. Because there's other takedowns like this on the market, they're good too. Compact little uh, rifles, but for the money, you can't beat what this little tailor's cost. You can check them out at uh, taylorsfirearms.com.